Now in today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new e-bike from Van Powers, and this is the Urban Glide. Now, this is a bike that's gonna be able to take you far. We're talking about 65 to 70 mile range, and it does have pedal assist, but this is a mid-drive motor, which means that you don't have a motor in the back of the actual tire, but it's something that is found in the crank itself where you're actually pedaling. Because of it, it's gonna give you pedal assist. As you're pedaling, it's gonna be able to help you along the way. Now keep in mind that this is the type of bike that you could use like a standard bike. So you don't really have to use it in the electric form. You could use it on its own and it's a nine speed bike. But if you use the actual bike and the actual pedaling uh, technology all at once, you're gonna be able to hit 20 miles per hour without any effort, no effort. And you're gonna see this in my ride experience. Now it does have a 500 watt motor, and as we mentioned, that mid-drive has torque sensing technology that as you're pedaling, it's also contributing power. It comes with a 3.5 inch display. Uh, it comes in two frame sizes too, a small and a large, and the one that we're reviewing is the large. 80 lux front light, which is plenty bright, and it also has a hydraulic fork which is something that I also appreciate, which means that you can actually have a better ride when it comes to shock in that front tire. Now, it does have a nine-speed micro-shift derailleur, and it's, it's one of the smoothest shifters that I've experienced to date. Now, the brakes also are hydraulic in nature, and it comes with 27.5 by 2.2 Kenda tires that have something called K-Shield. And the K-Shield is gonna give you puncture resistance. So these are gonna be tires that you'll be able to use, go on long rides, because again, you can go all the way up to almost 70 miles on this on a single charge. So you'll wanna have peace of mind, right? So this is gonna give it to you because it has those puncture resistant tires as well. All right guys, so now let's take a closer look at the Urban Glide from Van Powers. Now, one of the things about this bike, and the first thing that you're gonna see is that <laughs> hey, where's the motor? Typically, in an electric bike, you find the powertrain here. This is a really unique bike because the powertrain is actually in the pedal area. It's actually hidden, which makes this a stealth bike, in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't scream electric bike. It looks like a standard bike, which also is going to give it a super low profile when you're riding it on the street. So this bike has a max speed of 20 miles per hour. It has uh, a max weight capacity of 330 pounds. So this is gonna be more sufficient for you to carry yourself as a person and then have some groceries or have like a saddlebag in the back and have uh, something to support that. The mid-drive motor that you see um, in there, and we'll get a closer look at that, is a 48 volt, 500 watt mid-drive motor. And pretty much as you are pedaling, it contributes power to your pedal experience. It's super cool, it's almost like having superpowers. Right. We're also then looking at a 3.5 uh, LCD display that you're going to see in a couple seconds. Uh, the tires themselves, you're looking at front and rear tires, are 27.5 by 2.2, and you have an IPX5 rating. Now, the mileage you're going to get with the powertrain, right, that, that you see there and the battery is kind of like in that column that you see there, uh, between those two, you're going to be getting around 60 miles, right? You have mud guards, front and back, and those are going to keep you nice and clean and you do have lights, right? So let's take a closer look at all these different components so you can check them out. Now, the first thing that we highlight is that you do have your derailleur and this is a, does have a disc brake system. So you have great shifting here. Now the derailleur that we have here is a Harv, Harvel, micro shift. Now this has a micro shift derailleur it gives you a really unique ride when you look at how you shift from gear to gear. Uh, you'll notice over here that you have, now in the back of the scooter, you do have a support rack that you saw a couple seconds ago. You do have the cables. Notice how nice the cable management is. It just gets tucked inside of the frame, which I love. So you won't trip over this or cause any damage to it. I love the way how the derailleur is kind of like shifted in. So it's really nicely uh, covered and it's a micro version of the derailleur. Here you'll also notice that this is where the powertrain is. So uh, it's gonna act like a bike, but as you kick forward, this is where the power is gonna take place. And you'll notice that it's a very tiny too, so it's not a beefy area that stands out. It does look like a normal bike. Now this is where you, you actually get the sense that this is a bike if you look closely, or an e-bike. It's a class two, and it says right here 500 watt e-bike. Uh, but again, everything is really nicely discreet. Now the saddle itself is super comfortable. I love the material, right? It's really nice and soft to the touch. 
um, and it rides well. You do have an adjustment knob here that allows you to raise it up and down, no tools required. In the front, you do have another uh, mud guard and you have adjustable suspension. The tires, while thin, um, have nice tread to it and also the cable management that you're gonna see in a second is pretty impeccable, very, very, very clean. Now here you get a sense of the cable management. Everything is nicely bound in, everything tucks in, and you'll notice just very basic cabling that makes this bike not scream electric. You do have hydraulic brakes on each side, and then you have a little display that we're gonna see in a second. Now on the side here, you do have your uh, key area. This is used to remove the battery. You don't need the key to run the bike. All you need it is to remove the battery. On the bottom area, this is where you have your charging port, but in addition to your charging port, you do have a power button, which is kind of secret and cool, right? So the bike is not going to just work on its own. You have to press that button to wake it up. Now on this side, you'll get a better view of the actual mid-drive motor. You can see how nice and clean that is. Again, really, really nice, um, and it's a delight to ride. Now the handlebars are nice. I do like the spacing on it. The grips are great, right? They're solid. They do have palm support on the sides, and you can see it right there. So you do have palm supports. Uh, brakes are very responsive and turn on all you have to do is press this button here and we'll see it display or power up Well first we had to push on our wake-up button on the side Which we'll do and then press this power button and you see it lighting up and it has a really 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 colorful display on the side here you do have your uh, bell, which I have, it's still wrapped up because I prefer to have electric bells uh, But it's there and it's available now on this side what you're gonna see is you have um, again, your micro shift where you'll be able to move up and down gears. One of the things that you're going to notice is that there's no throttle. Mid drive bikes don't have throttles. It's basically as you pedal that power is contributed. So this is why I say it's kind of like a stealth electric bike because there's no throttle here. This is basically to shift up and down gears and nothing more. And also you have some nice adjustment here where you can actually adjust this column up or down if you need to. Hey guys, ZBQ Man here, and we are testing out the Urban Glide from Van Powers. Now, this is a mid-drive electric bike, which means that you don't have a rear motor like you may have in some of the traditional bikes where the back wheel, you see it much larger, at least in the center, because the actual power for the actual bike is coming right here in the middle. So as you can see this little area here, this is the area where the actual motor is. Now, unlike other bikes that we reviewed on the channel, this bike requires pedaling. So it does not have a throttle at all. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the actual gears to make this a little bit tougher. And as I'm doing this, it's contributing power automatically as I pedal. So the unique thing about this type of bike is that as you're pedaling, you're actually getting power assist taking place at the same time. So like right now, I have power assist level two as I'm pedaling. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase, again, my, the force required to pedal, right? And as I'm doing this, and we're gonna go ahead and do it again, we're gonna increase this a little bit more. What I'm finding is that A, I'm going faster, B, my, you can see that my legs aren't really turning around as fast as you saw earlier. So this is right now pretty comfortable to me. So let's talk about, in addition to the powertrain, which means that as you pedal, once again, you're gonna get power being contributed from the battery and the power coming from the motor that's inside of the crank right here. Uh, this bike comes in two sizes. It comes in a small and a large. This is the extra the large. And it comes, as you can see, in lava red. Woo, I love the lava red. Now you have Kendall puncture resistant tires on this bike, which is gonna give you a worry-free experience. You also have a front hydraulic fork, and that's gonna give you a delicious ride. Tires are not fat boy tires. Uh, I believe that they're 27 inch tires by uh, two and a half. Uh, but I can tell you that they're light, and the riding experience is extremely positive. You have a micro shift shifter on the side that is super easy to shift gears. So if you see right here, this is the actual shifting mechanism. Um, all you do is push these if I wanna have more tension as I turned it here. I think this is a nine speed if I recall correctly. It makes the, again, 
power that you have to put in a little bit more, but at the same time, the more you give it, the more it gives too. Now on the handles, you do have on both sides, you have palm support, which I really like. And by the way, you can adjust uh, this area here upwards to give you a higher mount if that's something that you would like. You do have palm support on each side, which makes it really stress-free when you're riding the bike. Uh, hydraulic brakes, so you do have the hydraulic fork in the front, which is adjustable. The hydraulic brakes, which give you a very responsive stop. Fantastic cable management. The cable management here is really, really nice. And one of the things I like about this bike, unlike some of the other bikes that we've reviewed on the channel, uh, the mid-drive bikes don't scream electric, right? Someone sees you riding this bike, they're not going to see an electric bike. They're gonna see a standard bike. I like that too because it makes the bike more concealable when it comes to you know, having an electric bike on the street and even parking it in public. Now the battery is removable. It does require a key to do it. And it has a button that you would press in order to wake up the battery uh, or the powertrain so that you can actually start you know, doing your thing. Now, one thing I will say is that for all intents and purposes, this feels and rides just like a bike, right? All the experience that I have here is of a normal bike. The only difference is, is that as I'm pedaling, the effort that I have to put in is far less than a traditional bike because I have that power assist. And what we're gonna do is in a couple seconds, once we turn around the corner here, we're gonna see how fast and how much power we can get out of this bike. Now this is a class three e-bike, right? So it means that uh, you should wear a helmet. You should also ride on the right side of the street too. All right, so level two, right? And you can see uh, speedometer's telling me 10 to 11 miles an hour. We're gonna go to level three. Now I'm 14 and you can hear me talking and I am not losing my breath. 16 miles an hour, 17. Level four, and now I'm 19 miles an hour. Woo, let me see if I can put a little bit more onto that derailleur there. All right, so now we're at 19. Level five, and I'm gonna see how far I can push this guy. So now we're hitting 20 miles an hour and you can see 20 miles an hour and this is Woo! Effortless, absolutely effortless to get 20 miles an hour. Gotta love it. Now the brakes on this bike are extremely responsive. As soon as I press them, it slows down and it slows down butter-like. So it's not something that you're gonna feel a jerk. Uh, you can see I'm doing this. Now the brakes on this bike are butter-like. You can press the brakes, it stops. It's not jerkiness in any way. There's no jerkiness at all and I love, again, that mid-drive torque sensing power contribution that we see happening here because I am riding 20 miles an hour and it is comfortable, super duper comfortable at 20 miles an hour and I'm not breathless at all. We're gonna be testing out with a speed cam to see if it's gonna be true to what I see on the screen. By the way, this display is very easy to read. All right, now one of the things I wanted to highlight about this bike is that when you take off, especially when you have power assist on, it makes it so easy to pull out. Now what we're gonna do is test out the actual speed. How true is it, what we see on the speedometer here, to what we see on the speed cam coming up. So I'm clocking around 20. Let's see what it tells me just now. Are we in 20? 19, so it's one, looks like it's one mile off. That's not bad. All right, so what are my thoughts about the Urban Glide? Pros and cons, if any. Uh, frankly, I can't see any cons. The only con is not even a con. So if you're looking for a bike that has a thumb throttle where you can just cruise without pedaling, then this is not gonna fit for you. If you're looking for a bike that you're gonna get some type of workout, not significant, but you can change that because it is a normal bike, you can run it as a normal bike, then this is definitely the thing to, to consider. Love the look, love the fact that it's easy on, easy off, nice suspension, nice brakes, everything is just very well made, great saddle, and I give it a double thumbs up. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.